So I recently built this radar chart in Tableau in 24.2 using the new biz extensions that now exist. Um, so really, really handy if you want to do this. But one of the things I wanted to call out was the, the data structure. And I think a lot of people get tripped up on this with Tableau or data visualization tools in general. Um, and when I'm building this, you know, it's quite easy for me to kind of drag and drop a couple of these pills out and everything builds and looks easy. Um, and I did mention in that previous video that this is how the data is structured. So, you know, each measure or each stat is, is in at one column and there's the value and there's the percentile. But I pre say that's not how data always arrives. And you have to do a lot of kind of manual lifting and shifting to try and get the data to look like that. And if your data doesn't look like that, how do you build a radar? Okay, so I wanted to just really make this video just to show you how you can move the data into this kind of format. Okay, now I'm going to use Tableau Prep. You could probably do this in Excel. There's probably loads of ways to do it. I have a creator license of Tableau, so it comes with Tableau Prep. Um, so I'm just going to build it in that. But it, it doesn't really matter how you do this. I just want to show you how you get from kind of a raw data set to this kind of more structure that you need for the radars. Okay, so I'll open up what I think maybe typically the data might come in. So this is you know, FB ref, I've gone and kind of copied and pasted one of the Premier League shooting tables from that. So you can see each row is a player. It has some kind of biographical information and then it goes into the various stats, okay? Now, each stat or each measure is a column and they're the raw numbers, okay? So for example, there's 10 goals, um, two goals and so on but I need it as a percentile. So there's a couple of things I need to do to be able to figure out and work out and get this data to look like this here, okay? And the reason I need percentiles is, is really because if these were regular numbers, you might have like 4,000 passes and six goals and your, your radar, your spider graph would look kind of all over the place. So these are actually all based on percentiles. So where does somebody fall um, in relation to the population, whatever, that population is for your data. Okay, so I'm going to jump into Tableau Prep. If you haven't used it, I'd really recommend it. Uh, checking it out, as I said, if you have one of the paid versions of Tableau Creator, uh, this comes as a free, free piece of software, free download for you to use. Um, and I've really, I've just connected to that raw data file. Okay, so that Excel sheet that I just showed you. Um, we'll just have a look at the data here. So you can see, you know, it has a rank, it has a player, and it'll have all the fields running across the bottom here, okay? And these are the various steps I've got, gone through. So I, I just wanna call out a kind of few of the, the main ones, okay? So really what I'm doing is, I'll go onto this one here, okay? So really what I want to do is I want to take a measure like goals and calculate what percentile does a player fall into, okay? And that's done with, with this calculation here. Okay, let me see, can I zoom in a little bit? I can't, oh, I can. Let's go back. Okay, so I'm essentially saying order the data by goals, and that's kind of goal scored in ascending order, and then rank the percentile of that, okay? So it's quite a straightforward calculation, but instead of giving me the raw number of goals, it's going to give me the percentile. Okay, and just to show you, because I know, like, uh, basically who should come out on top, let's just search for Haaland. Okay, and he should have a goal percentile of one. So he's in the top 100th percentile of goals scored. Okay, you can see there, there's his 27 goals. So what I'm doing for each of the stats I want in my radar chart, I need to create that percentile calculation. And again, I'm sure there's a way to do this in Excel if you needed to. Uh, so I've just repeated that. You can see I've you know done it for non-penalty expected goals, shots on target per 90, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I, I didn't for this example, I didn't care too much which which eight me measures I picked. I just wanted to repeat the process kind of eight times. And then what I've done is I've I've filtered and pivoted the data, and this is kind of the crucial step here. Okay, so in Tableau Prep, each each structure, each step here you can choose from the list. So I'm pivoting the data. So essentially what I want to do is I want to take all of the percentiles 
that I've created. So you can see the seven or eight percentiles here. And I want to put them into one column. So it matches my, my data structure that I need. Okay, so if we have a look at my data now here, let's just bring this up. So you can see I've left, um, you know, player, nation, name, squad, all as kind of columnar data. And then on the left hand side here, I have the percentiles. Okay, so this is the number. This is where what percent they appear in. Okay, now I've done something to join back on the data. Uh, so I get the values and the percentile and um, not absolutely necessary you're just making the radar charts but just something I, I wanted to be able to do and um, if this is something you need or want to have a look at you can reach out to me on on Twitter and I can share the uh, share the workflow with you but you'll see here I really just end up with a, a data set that shows me for each player I get the percentile they fall under the actual value and the name of the stat okay and I get that for each player. So I now have a workflow that matches the data structure that I need, okay? And the, the thing I like about kind of Tableau Prep is if I need to update this file, so if this raw data, you know, gets gets new data in here, so if there's more players added or the stats update or whatever, I can just come into Tableau Prep, rerun the workflow, and it repeats all of the steps that I did. So I really only have to build this thing once, and then it just replays all of the, the manual tasks that I have to do. So that's why I prefer it over something like Excel. Even if you could formulate Excel and do all that kind of stuff, uh, I just prefer the visual interface of this. Um, so that's output a, a new data set. So it doesn't override the existing data set. I now have a new data set that I can put into Tableau here. So again, I'll just come back and I'll build a... I'll just show you what that looks like. So here's my radar data prep. Um, I can go into the data source tab and here's you know the stat name the stat value the percentile the player and then the biographical information about the player so really it's these two columns here that I was trying to pivot and that's th that's the kind of key thing here and um, so your player repeats a few times for each stat but you get all of the information that you need and then it's a very simple process to kind of rebuild the radar and I'd suggest you go and have a look at that particular video once you have the data structured as you need it. Uh, it's then very simple to go and build the, the kind of radars that you need. Okay, I hope that was useful.